When it comes to online attention and validation, the internet is a beautiful place. For women, not so much for men. A woman can take a video of her picking her nose, playing with her feet, farting into the camera, and her DMs are going to be flooded with guys saying, that was beautiful, you're so beautiful, that was gorgeous. Not so much for guys. Guys, they post the sexiest picture that is. For me personally, I post gym pictures for attention. And all I get is you guys coming into my comments and saying, GATE! SMASH! chicken legs once in a blue moon a girl replies to my story and she goes like nice and that gives me butterflies in my asshole now you're probably aware of this video roaming around the internet since it got like millions and millions of views all over the social media platforms where this woman says being a single mom is making your own birthday cake on your birthday so that your babies can feel happy when they are singing it to you i will never understand people putting the camera in front of them and start crying especially these youtubers when their dog died and they're like <laughs> I find it extremely uncomfortable when I find someone crying from the camera, but I'm, my opinion is not important in this. What's important is her comment section, around tens of thousands of people in the comment section going, Oh, no one should go through this. Oh my god, this is so sad. No one understands single moms. Single moms need more attention. And that little Timmy in the comments who just no one pays attention goes like, smash. Now, why are we talking about this woman crying for the camera for attention? Because the story got interesting. The ex-husband came up and started to talk about that she is a bad person. She is faking it all. And the second we find out that there's a juicy drama going around, we get an instant boner and we will investigate it. Now, this whole drama, I'm going to warn you, it has a lot of pl plot twists. It got me on my, in the top of my chair, at the tip of my chair, because it goes back and forth with the drama. Basically, the wife, the ex-wife and the ex husband the drama they keep on doing response video as if it's like a youtuber online beef against each other they're doing response video after response video you're a bad person no you're a bad person just exposing the shit out of each other <laughs> it's been a while since i caught a drama this interesting let's go watch the husband respond to this video i'm her ex-husband and um right now i have full custody of our kids this is our parent agreement as you can see, I have all weekdays and weekends, time sharing with the kids, all at holiday academic breaks. And for her to get any rights back to the kids, these are the things that she needs to do. And yes, child support, she owes that. It's up to over $21,000. So she's a mother and doesn't pay child support. Bro woke up and chose violence, showing receipts, doing it the Logan Paul style, just doing a green screen and receives behind them saying that she is not a good mother she doesn't care about the kids she is out partying most of the time and she just made this video for attention she owes child services she owes this he also says that she doesn't even want to pay the twenty one thousand dollar child support that she owes it goes on and even exposes her more he was then arrested for check fraud and during that hearing it turned out that it was found that she stole almost a million dollars from another guy and also she fake cancer in the past. These are scans that she would send and post on her page uh, before. So, you know, to sum it up, you know, this person, for people that follow her or giving her praise and showing, telling her how strong and how, you know, amazing she's doing, uh, well, she's really not a full-time mom. Um, she barely has her kids. Uh, she goes out all the time. Um, and she doesn't even have a job even. So she, uh, just really not someone that other single moms should really be looking towards as for inspiration or anything like that. There are a lot of, you know, hardworking single moms out there and a lot of respect to them. All I just want to say is she just isn't one of them. Um, so hopefully everyone uh, can see this video and know you know who she really is now when 99 percent of people saw this video they were like oh my god i can't believe she faked everything i thought she was genuine i can't trust people on the internet anymore but one thing people fail to realize or pay attention to is from the page that he posted this everyone was gasping everyone was in shock no one was really paying attention to the whole thing now that woman's name is elizabeth and the man behind the page the ex-husband made a dedicated video to this page is strictly to warn others to stay away from elizabeth and the, her, the name of the page is inventing elizabeth bro got hurt so bad after the divorce where he made a page 
trying to expose every single man who comes near Elizabeth. Stay away! Stay, st st stay away! And Elizabeth is trying to be like a social media influencer. And he's like, guys, she's a piece of shit. He even made a page, a website about her. They're saying my ex did it. Exposing every single thing, that bad thing that Elizabeth did, allegedly, in the marriage the whole page is about shitting on elizabeth now thankfully for you you don't have to go through all the videos because i did yesterday i was sitting through a barber getting this nice fade and i had a lot of free time i went through each and single video of this and out of the whole uh the whole conclusion comes down to he is a mid looking guy she is a 9.5 out of 10 in my opinion looks wise only she came towards him he fell in love with her beauty because he was like oh my god i can't believe this pretty girl is talking to me i i think she wants me for me but bro was bagging cash as well so what she did was she used him she um you know got into a relationship and just she took advantage of the situation and she was a type that she wanted to live a comfortable happy life and didn't want to work for it which unfortunately a lot of women are like this they make the guy feel like they're you know so in love with him and the guy goes head over heels because she's way more attractive than him and eventually they turn the guy into a villain after getting bored of the situation grabbing that cash and just dipping and that guy ends up being a huge stalker huge person who's going to dedicate their lives to destroy the shit out of that woman i think when a person takes that amount of time out of their lives to dedicate a specific page just to expose their ex it's just fucked it's it's a creepy thing to do a normal person will never do this just get over it you have money go enjoy your life there's always someone else for you just don't get hung up on that one person and after millions of people saw that video they decided to go to elizabeth's page and they decided to hate comment her and elizabeth was not used to it she took every hate comment to heart and she made a response video like whatever you're saying about me on the internet but uh there are other women that have filed restraining orders against him and if anyone took the time to go look the, look him up as well that's what you would see instead you see everything you've looked me up which is essentially coming from one man who is out to destroy my life that is in the nature of being a Scientologist. That is what they do. And if you know anything about them, you would know that. But what is going on is not right. Me getting death threats when I stay home with my kids every day is not right. Because a man that I left will always try to destroy my life. Now, all of these videos I'm, I'm showing you is deleted from her page for some reason. Yesterday it was up, but she de deleted them because I think she doesn't want to continue the drama anymore. I think both of them are just weird for doing this. I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm all for this drama. I put my face like at the top so I can block out the girl's personal information, but this is another girl that put a restraining order against him. Like I think a couple of years before we got married for chasing her around the table with a knife. It did end up getting, like, after they went to court, it ended up getting declined because she did not have a lawyer, and he did, and he ended up winning, um, which is typically how he wins everything is the girls that he gets are young girls. He's older, gets young girls, and then he has way more money and is able to end up destroying them in court. The drama gets juicier and juicier, and the internet is into two teams now because the people on the mommy side and the people on the baba side. And from the looks of it, that guy is literally the type of guy who's gonna like flirt with a girl, and if she shows no interest, he's gonna be like, well, you're a whore anyways, you slut. And I just wanna clear up the domestic violence um, injunctions. They're just in temporary injunctions. Um, none of them actually were uh, credible. Um, none of them were uh, ever imposed um, because there is no evidence um, to be found in any of the cases of any domestic violence. So I just want to make that clear. There is a couple more videos about this and she made her last video. She was exposing the text messages between them. We're not going to go through it. Just some basic stuff between like their online beef. And last night she posted a video where she said that I, I want to end this beef. I want to live my life and I want him to stop. I feel her on this situation because the guy is literally dedicating himself, his time in his life and not getting over her and just fucking trying to 
put her down in any means possible. I think it's very pathetic of him. He should just move on. He has money. He has, okay, they have children to get together. They can just share it. $21,000 in child support services. Whatever, you have money. Like, deal, deal with it. He's saying that she faked cancer. She was arrested for check fraud and she got, you know, for like a million, she stole like a million dollars. What a surprise that there are bad people in this world. This whole beef went on for a few days. It was a whole like daily uh, episodes of entertainment type of videos for the people who are just bored on the internet and just are looking for drama. So what did we learn from this video? You are going to come across women or men like this in your life. Just don't be them. Okay, if you're a man, you come across this woman, she uses you for your money, you should have known better. It's an experience, learn from it, move on. If you are a woman like this, pick your targets carefully or else they're gonna taunt you for the rest of your life. I thought this beef was interesting and I thought I'll share it with you. But yeah, that was it for today's video. <clears throat> if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, give it a comment, let me know your thoughts in the comments below or whose side you're taking or shared your whole opinion about this drama. But until next time, See ya.